I just found the first agent ID where it basically enables anyone to develop large language model applications by providing a specialized agent ID. It's something that enables visualization, interaction, and debugging of complex agentic applications. In simple terms, it's a new tool that makes it easier for anyone to basically create advanced applications with AI integrated within them. This is where I would like to introduce LangGraph Studio. With visual graphs and the ability to edit state, you can better understand agent workflows and iterate faster. LangGraph Studio integrates with LangSmith so you can collaborate with teammates to debug failure modes. Now, LangGraph Studio is the first ID designed specifically for agent development and it's currently in open beta. You can see that there is a drag and drop component as well to help you build out your application. Just take a look at this demo video, which will showcase a couple of things built with LangGraph Studio. And so the first thing that we see is this nice visualization of the agent. We can see the nodes um, that are defined. We can see where it starts. We can see where it ends. We can see the different uh, branches that come out of each node. And this is a great way to visualize any type of complex agent that you're building. We can then start to interact with this agent. So let's send in a message. Let's say, hi what's the weather in SF? So the agent starts running and it sees and it realizes that it needs to call to Ville. So it calls to Ville with a search term of weather in San Francisco. It gets back a response and then it gets out a, uh, and then it generates a final answer. So this is a run of an agent. Already this is helpful because I can see as the agent is progressing, what exactly is happening. I can see the streaming of tokens back. I can then see when it's finished. I can see the tool call. I can see exactly what the tool call is. It's in a nice and explorable way. So I can click in I can see the results of the tool call. I can see the tool parameters represented nicely. This is already helpful for just understanding what's happening live as the agent is running. But what's really cool is I can then start to interact with this. So one thing I can do is I can modify the state of the agent directly. So if I wanted to do some simulation where I said something like, okay, let me uh, edit this and let's say what would have happened if the agent instead generated weather in San Francisco, AccuWeather or something like this. Then I can click, so I can modify it directly there and I can then click this fork button. That'll then start up a separate parallel thread where it continues from this spot in time as if it had searched for this term. But before we move on with today's video, I want to introduce today's video sponsor, DreamPal. DreamPal is a revolutionary roleplay AI chatbot that transforms your chatting experience by blending AI technology with roleplaying elements. Imagine chatting with your favorite anime or game character. For instance, you can have an engaging conversation with someone like Elon Musk. So you can basically just search up your character and you can start discussing futuristic tech or brainstorming ideas with Elon. Just listen to the realistic voice. You can actually play the voice message and it will basically replicate his voice. I am not creating a company for the sake of creating a company, but for the sake of doing things well. Now, isn't that incredible? With DreamPal, you can gain valuable insights and even create your own character by uploading your own images. You can even send pictures as well as your own prompts, which will basically design what the character is able to define or say. They also now have an 18 plus section. So if you're interested, you can head over to DreamPal and you can access this completely for free. They also have a very interactive Discord community. So if you're able to join, you should definitely take a look at it so that you can start chatting and learning what others are actually creating with DreamPal. And that's basically it for DreamPal. This is an awesome and fun interactive AI role-playing chatbot, which is definitely worth checking out. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at the links in the description below. I truly found it to be pretty cool. So check it out and let's get straight back into the video. Now that was truly amazing. And this is something that we're going to be exploring throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started with LangGraph Studio, showcasing the capabilities and so much more. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below. I'd like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel. And this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers. We have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing 
AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So you may be wondering now, how can you get started? Well, you can actually access LangGraph Studio within LangSmith if you have any of the planned tiers and you can access it completely for free on LangSmith. But I'm going to be showcasing how you can locally install this so that you can basically get started with it right away. Now, before we get started with the installation, there's a couple of key things that you need to note. This is currently only on Apple Silicon Macs in terms of the download support. And you can basically download the file by simply clicking on the here button over here or the release page to install this file, which is like a one click installer to access the studio. But what you can also do is set up LangGraph Studio, which requires Docker, and you just need to set it up with a project within LangGraph, meaning that you need to have a project with LangGraph's app and you just need to set it up with LangGraph Studio. There is actually a documentation which showcases all the how to's to set this up, how you can deploy it with Docker and whatnot. So definitely follow through with this if you need any sort of help, which I'll leave a link to as well as all the other links that I use in today's video in the description below. So there's a couple of prerequisites that you're going to need before you get started. First things first, you're going to need to make sure that you have Git installed. This is going to be used to help us clone the repository onto our desktop. You're going to need to make sure that you have Python installed as well. You will also need Docker installed on your desktop and this version needs to be 4.24 or higher as well as VS Code. So once you have these three fulfilled, we can then proceed forward with the installation. So what you want to do first is copy this command over here. Once you have done that, go into your command prompt and you want to basically just paste this in. Now, this is an example of installing it on a Windows computer. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to start off by cloning this repository. Once we do that, we're going to open up VS Code. Now, the reason why we're going to be doing this is because we're going to be editing the dot n file so that we can input the api keys that are required so we're going to click on open folder within vs code and we're going to find LangGraph studio which should be somewhere here and there we not go there we go now once we have opened this up you want to trust the authors at your own discretion go over to the dot n dot example file now once you have inputted your api keys what you can do is you can just simply rename this and you want to delete the dot example and click enter. Once you have pasted in your API keys, just click on file and then click save. You need to make sure that you utilize one of the large language model API keys. So if you're going to be utilizing one of Anthropic's large language models, such as the Sonnet 3.5 model, you'd want to get their API key and then paste it into that dot n file. But if you're going to be utilizing OpenAI's, you can utilize their API key to access the GPT-4 Omni model or any of their models. But you're also going to need to get the Tavli AI API key. So I'll leave a link to this in the description below. This is something that you can set up completely for free. And it's quite essential for this to be functional. And once you have basically set all your API keys, just simply paste in Python agent.py and click enter. And there you go. You will have your studio opened up. Now, this is where LangGraph's library has now been integrated within the studio. And for the people that do not know, this library is basically designed for creating stateful multi-actor applications with any large language model. It's practically useful for building conversational agents and long-running multi-step LM applications. It supports persistent checkpoints, cycles, and human-in-the-loop interactions. And this basically makes it ideal for collaborative LMs and human tasks. Now with LangGraph Studio, it's going to enhance the development process by providing tools to visualize and interact with agent graphs. It's going to enable any developer to see and modify the structure and the logic of your application. You can create an iterative development process of your app. And while coding remains quite essential, LangGraph Studio is going to basically augment the traditional code editors and makes it easier for you to develop complex LangGraph applications. This studio is going to bring core features of an agent ID to developers. It's going to facilitate faster iterations and better understanding of agent workflow. So after you have integrated it within your LangGraph project, you can see that you can start building the environment that you would like with the visual components, or you can drag and drop these components to build out your app. 
you can interact with these agents as you can chat with it on the side and to see if it is functional. And you can have this human in the loop interaction to basically iterate it even further. Now, it even states that you can interrupt the agent at any time if it goes off course, and you can interrupt the agent to run in a debug mode, which basically means that it pauses after each step of the graph so that you can walk through the process with that human in the loop uh, implementation. And if you don't like what the agent responded with at that specific step, you can directly modify the response and then continue with that new response. This is where it's teaching you how you can basically utilize and generate better with this flow. Now, I definitely recommend that you view through their documentation because they're going to showcase the more in-depth idea as to what you can do with the studio. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it. This is a great new tool that I definitely recommend that you utilize. It's an agent ID that is completely open source and you can get started with it right away. Now, make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. A great way for you to access different AI news on a daily basis towards you over here completely for free. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Start positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.